go into the BIOS on the computer. This is done by turning the computer on and then repeatedly hitting F2 key on the keyboard. Keep hitting it until you get to the BIOS. The BIOS will look different on every computer. It may look different. Depending on your BIOS you might need to uh, select some sort of... In the BIOS, this is how you disable TPM, I will show it to you. This might not be necessary, but this is how it's done. You disable it. TPM is disabled like that. Also, I like to disable firmware updates. You might not need to do that, but I'll do it anyway, just for the sake of it. That's how that's done. Now, this is where the important stuff is. Secure boot. So, wherever you have secure, bo secure boot on your computer, go to the settings and enable all customizations and disable all controls, basically. Depending on your BIOS, you might have keys. Go to the keys and delete all the keys. The way you delete the keys may be different. Here, you select the key, delete the key, OK, yes, and OK. And then you do it for the next key. Delete key, yes, OK, next key, delete key, yes, OK, and the next key, delete key, Yes, and okay. That's how it's done on this BIOS. You might have different options. It might ask you, do you want to delete keys? There might be a separate button for deleting keys. But anyway, you have to del delete all the keys and you have to just delete them all. Then save changes and power off. It's also important that you power off because the computer needs to be off. And now you put in your installation media. This is usually something like a USB stick these days, but a DVD or a CD would work just fine as well. USB sticks are used these days a lot of the time, so then turn on the computer once the installation media is in the com on the computer, plugged in. Then enter the BIOS again, go to the boot area, and then you have to basically just get rid of all of the boot orders. Delete all of these. Disable them. This might look different on your BIOS. But whatever boot order it says, you just disable all of them. All of them. And then you select your installation media at the top. I have the Corsair USB stick. So there are two entries, so I will select them both. So I will start with the first one. And then the second one. If you have multiple entries for the same device, then just put them all there. Then save changes and reset. So remember to keep your installation media on the computer. Do not touch the installation media. L leave it be for now. The computer will boot into your USB stick or whatever installation media you have. If you used a DVD, it will boot into the DVD now. So, as you can see, the example operating system I'm using is the Mint, and yeah, I'm gonna just choose the compatibility mode for the video, whatever, it doesn't matter. The operating system of choice for this video is arbitrary, it's just an example. You could use any other operating system. Mint is just an example. So, this operating system, I'm just using it as a demonstration of booting into the operating system. But I will also be using this to demonstrate a few things also, now that I'm here anyway, so if you have trouble with resolution, the screen resolution, there are typically settings in the operating system that allow you to change that. I will first make the mouse sensitivity better. Mint has display settings here, but because I selected the compatibility mode, there is only one option here. But 
for you there might be several. You might not need to go there at all. But anyway, this is how you install the operating system. Or, depending on your operating system, it might be completely different. But Mint is a good distro for new users of the GNU Linux operating system. So, it's a good distribution. You basically just continue here, as you can see. You just continue the installation and you follow the instructions. You click next, you click OK and you give it your usernames and your whatever. But I'm not going to install the operating system now, because this is just... This video is about the BIOS settings. I just demonstrated to you the operating system booting and whatever. So yeah, you follow the instructions and then the computer will most likely tell you to shut down some, at some point and then sem tell you something like this. Please remove the installation medium, then press enter. You just follow the instructions. Your instructions might be different. Once you follow the instructions and you have shut down the computer or restarted, then there is a possibility that you might not need to go to the BIOS again. But I will still go to the BIOS just to demonstrate to you if you need to reconfigure the boot order. It is some some operating systems, or at least I've seen that operating systems may change the boot order automatically. But yeah, basically you just go to the boot options and you select the operating system you just installed. I will select the hard drive and then because I didn't install the Mint, I still have Debian here that I had before. But you basically just choose the operating system here that you just installed. Oh, and also, the hard disk might not be necessary to be selected like I did. You saw me in the video put the hard disk at the top of the boot order, but that might not be necessary. In fact, in fact it might be bad in some cases. Depending on the operating system you have, you it depends. Some operating systems, like I said, they do the boot order for you.